Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT Geek YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to my channel. So, a bit of a change. Uh, again, I'm changing the things up a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm, Nerdy on Wednesday is still a thing, and I'm going to come back to it. Um, just kind of in the process of, of getting the content created for it. Um, and uh, I, again, I'll be explained more <laughs> when I actually launch it. Uh, but it's a collaboration with a with a, with a, with somebody, so we're trying to get that content sorted. But for now, I'm going to do some other sort of content on, on Wednesdays. And, and today is going to be a book review. So I've not done a book review in a while. And I was sent this book by Pact. Um, I was like sent the PDF of it about a month ago. I just not got around to um, doing this. Um, but today's review is all going to be on Microsoft Copilot in Azure. So this is a book by uh, David Rondon, Rondon and uh, Steve Miles. So apologies, David, if I have butchered your name, I do apologize. Um, so very much, um, I've been doing lots of co-pilot at work and personally as well with my YouTube stuff. So a kind of, um, sorry, not videos around co-pilot, but like when I'm creating my content, I've been using co-pilot quite a bit. So I kind of thought uh, this would be this, you know, when I got sent this, I was like, oh yeah, definitely want to do a, a review about this. Um, so obviously this is published by Pact, um, and, and a lot of my my books are around that. Um, so I want to kind of skip to page eighteen. So for, first of all, the sort of things we look at. I'll come back to what's the content, obviously, but straight away in the name of this book, you know, Microsoft Copilot in Azure, right? This is not a book for the common person so to speak right i mean this is a techie book okay so uh, let me try and get that right okay so this is a techie book and, and straight away we can see it tells you that this book is targeted to azure architects and developers who build cloud-based computing services or focus on deploying and managing applications and services in microsoft azure so it's, it's a techie book straight away and and when i when i was like obviously looking through the contents and reading it very much aligns with that yeah they've they've, they've prefaced that right at the start who this book for and um, it is very much a technical book. Um, so I personally loved it, you know, from that perspective, with it being technical. Uh, it's not an exam book. It's not a, it's not a exam prep book or anything like that. It's not a, it's not a deep, it's not a deep dive. It's because this is again, this is a very quite a new subject from from a from a Copilot perspective and from a cloud, an Azure perspective. Having that integration between Copilot and Azure is is relatively new. When I'm, you know, I've not seen a lot of content out there. <laughs> excuse me on that. So straight away it goes into some, you know, what's it going to cover. So we can see here, um, chapter one. Let's see if I can make this a bit bigger so we can actually uh, zoom in. There we go. There we go. So so this is chapter one is about very much introductory, right? Understanding Microsoft Copilot in Azure. So very foundational. And I, I always say this um, again. I feel like I'm in a good place to in a good position to because I've published two books myself, where. You know, you're building. You have to build. A, it's like, but it's just, even though it's it's a technical book, you got to still build that story, right? So you've got to start with a foundational level. You can't jump straight into all the deep dive techie stuff. It has to be very, you know, foundational. That's where exactly where this book starts off. It tells you itself provides a foundational understanding of Microsoft Copilot in Azure. Okay, so it's a specific topic. It's it's assuming you have a you know what Copilot is, and again again, it's assuming you know what. Uh, Azure is, and <clears throat> I think here where it says Azure architects and developers who build cloud-based computing, again, I would assume you know what Copilot is and you know what Azure is, okay? So you, you, you need that understanding already of Copilot and Azure as separate entities, okay? So this is bringing them together. So, but, so it's very much around the foundations of that, and it's going to cover the impact of, of AI and automation in cloud operations. So again, very basic, um, starting off foundationally great, love it. Chapter two, then it says here, it's going to cover getting started. So now we're going to start actually explaining how to, to actually start with Microsoft Copilot. Where should we start? So we've introduced the topic. Now let's actually, okay, what, what can we do? How do we do it in Azure Portal? So a very step-by-step -step walkthrough. I'm going to get into this chapter. I'm going to just look through this chapter in a bit more detail shortly. I love that. The fact it's going to be step-by-step, -step, you know, practical. And these are the things with, with these books, um, even though it's not a deep dive, right? When you're introducing something like you know this concept of Microsoft Copilot in Azure specifically, and you're aiming at architects and, and techies, we want to. I'm a techie. I'm an architect. I want to see. I want to do, right? I'm a very. I'm a very practical person. That's how I've learned. You know all the stuff I've learned by doing. So this book's great for that, right? It's great for you know step by step walkthrough on the initial setup. So we're configuring. So we're following. Great. Love that. 
moves into managing access so again very very important i think this needs to be at the start of the book you know you've done some implementation you've set it up now let's secure it let's get access it and, and you know those permissions secured so great i like I, I i very much like how this book is set out okay it's very very um sta i don't I wouldn't even say standard because i've read books where they don't do this i might put uh, access like you know i am at the end or in the, in the middle this is very much third chapter right before we move forward let's let's secure let's let's make sure uh, authentication authorization is in place now we're getting into a bit more deep dive of the deploying the actual uh, cloud infrastructure. So it's going to guide us through the process of starting Copilot in Azure and deploying and managing that infrastructure. Uh, you know, talks about storage virtual machines. Love it. Again, very much hands on. Um, goes into deploying and managing cloud infrastructure then. So this is part two of that. For us. So this is a two, two chapters. It's obviously looking at then uh, Azure Kubernetes and app services. So now some people might put in this in a massive long chapter but again this is a journey and i like how the the authors have actually propositioned this in two different different chapters they're not trying to overwhelm us as us as readers like okay let's start off with you know the first part which is managing the infrastructure of storage and virtual machines so some basically some some IaaS. now let's move into the second part of this Part two, which is more PaaS, right? Kubernetes and app services like that. Okay, so chapter five, right, is is about, if you look how many chapters there are, 12 chapters, we're bordering on halfway, and this is where um, they decide to pivot a little bit. So we've deployed the infrastructure now for the Copa and Azure in, you know, uh, integration. Let's now start improving and, and making it more efficient. Um, so looking at the AI shell, so not really getting into the nitty gritty. So again, like that, how they've pivoted with the deployment now, let's kind of improve it and enhance it. And then we start going into more deep dive, advanced data management, um, going into real time monitoring. So this is where we're really getting to the thick of the actual integration, scaling and optimizing, uh, integrating AI driven insights for cost management in chapter 10. So moving to a bit of cost management there, which I think is really, really powerful. Um, and I think that's, a, again, I'll get into this chapter in a little bit. Um, and then, you know, although we've, we've, we've kind of secured it with the authentication and, and the, the IAM bit, um, it does kind of finish off with, oh, well, the second class chapter is around implementing security measures with Copart and Azure. So our meeting compliance. Now, again, I, I feel like this is probably a good spot to put this towards the end because, again, you, you've not, you've not, we've not sort of put into prod yet, let's assume. We're doing the security measures. And then uh, chapter 12 is very much summary focused, right? And just goes through a summary of putting all the previous chapters together. So this is the reason I'm walking through this first of all, just to show you how it sets out this book. I really like that. I am very happy with how they set this book up. First of all, um, I found it very easy to follow. I found it really interesting that, that the structure kept me engaged. If that makes sense. So some lot not normal blurb you get in these in these books with. Let's try and get down to the nitty gritty. So I actually wanted to go to chapter two first because that is where I feel like um, this is this is first you know very introductory stuff at the start very very um, theoretical right and, and I ex I would expect that from 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 a chapter where you're introducing foundations right so no issue with that if you look at my previous book reviews I'm very much I like to see practical elements uh, and this very much focuses on that. Um, as we go, just you know, going through a bit of our back, and although this is covered in chapter three as well, uh, assigning some roles. Now let's get started. Here we are: screenshots, step-by-step -step guide, um, going through, you know, the scenarios for Copilot in Azure. Again, a bit of theory. Um, looking at design again. Remember, this is for architects, so designing a new application environment. Um, and then as we get more into it, troubleshooting a performance issue as well. So it's not just focusing on, on you know, on just like implementing it. What happens if we have a problem? Um, so again, I, in previous books, again, where I've seen, this is more for the deep dive books. I always say there needs to be some sort of section on troubleshooting. What they've done here, the authors have in, included it as part of the in, individual chapters, not a chapter on its own. No issue with that at all, uh, as long as it's been included. So again, a massive mixture of theory and, and, and practical elements. Again, really good blend. Now we start getting into um, some actual uh, you know, active chat sessions in Copilot, so showing the prompts um, and you know, looking at Azure query results as well using KQL. So very, very quite technical, very technical as I mentioned. Um, 
Now, again, I like the use of images. I've always been a big, uh, for people, again, if you look at my other book reviews, I love images. I'm, I can't just read stuff, right? I need to be able to look and understand and look at an image and be able to see that on my screen and follow it along as we go. Um, so again, the, the really good use of images and tables. Um, and it's fine. Again, it's not a massively long chapter. I don't think it needs to be. Um, but again, explains things very clearly and it's a very, very good sort of um, working you into the content, if, if, if that makes sense. So here's where we're now looking at sort of the access capabilities. And I said, already touched on R back at the start of chapter two, but then it just goes through that in a lot more detail, overview of that access management capabilities with Copilot in Azure. Um, again, walking you through where to find the access management element, telling you how to configure it, what to turn on, what to turn off, follow it in your own lab, great stuff. And this is, this is a theme of the book, which is why I'm, I'm a very fan of it. Now, normally, again, I, I'm, I'm with these sort of, with, with technical books, I like knowledge check stuff. And this is not just um, because it's, again, it's not an exam book, so it's not a requirement, but I've always been a fan of knowledge check just to make sure that am I, am I, am I understanding what I'm reading? This doesn't have that, which is fine, but that might be a personal preference. That's more of a personal preference of mine. Um, it's not to say, you know, they should have that. I personally like to see just two or three knowledge check questions at the end of books. This doesn't have that, which is perfectly fine. Um, I suppose, you know, the argument is it's not that type of book, right? It's not an exam prep book. It's not a deep dive, a deep dive book. I'd be saying you should have it in no matter what. This is very much, I feel like this is introducing this topic because Copilot in, in anything, right? It's so new. Copilot is one of their newer solutions and, and you know, uh, AI is very much, I know it's now and happening, but it's very much still the start of its journey if we think about it as a, as a AI as a, as a concept. So I would expect like in five years time there to be a deep dive book of this because it's like established, etc. For me, this is very much introductory, but I think if you're dealing with these sort of things like AI and, and Copilot and Azure, you still need to be a seasoned sort of uh, administrator or architect or developer, which is why I think this is aimed at the right people. Okay. So again, like I said, if we just go down to, to so this is part two. So we've done the VM stuff. We're now um, looking at, so this is part two. So we're going to include chapters four to nine. So there, I like how they've broken it down to separate parts as well. Um, so we go to chapter four. This is the, the managing the infrastructure. Very theoretical at the start. And then again, uh, tells you what it's going to focus on and we start getting into some of the actual configuration stuff now again being able to deploy and, 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 and it doesn't need to tell you how to deploy a VM because again if you're if you're if you're uh, if you're a architect or a developer you should know how to do that but it does give you some example co-pilot prompts um, it tells you how to deploy and manage kubernetes um, not as many pictures in the in some of these chapters which is fine again but again I'm, I'm very picture orientated so I would have liked some more pictures um, short theoretical chapter with some sort of prompts and things to follow which is perfectly fine they're mixing it up right I think they're mixing it up gets chapter 12 again I'm not going to go through each chapter like this. I'm going to jump a couple of chapters in a second but similar to the last chapter again we're still in that deployment mechanism so looking at configuring applications via code um, I think because these chapters are short and snappy it's not too bad with it just being a lot of writing um, personally, I would like to see more images and tables and things like that just to help me digest it. I'd struggled with a couple of these chapters, but because they were quite short and sweet, it wasn't too bad. Um, so let me jump to a couple of chapters here. So here we can see chapter six is around improving efficiency. And we can see there's, there's lots of, um, um, installing AI shell, lots of images of the PowerShell, again, letting you follow that through and follow on, on in your lab environment. Um, and it goes back to a bit of theory. So in general, it mixes it up really well, I think. Um, I, I personally found this book very interesting. Um, like I said, it's a, it's a topic that I know, I know a lot about Azure. Uh, and I'm, I'm learning a lot of Copilot. Um, and I think if you're in that, I think if you're on that journey yourself and you're on that sort of track, I would recommend buying this book because uh, I think it's a good one for the shelf as well. I'd like to have a book like, you know, my shelf there. I'd like to have a book like that I can just refer to, uh, especially over the next six months while I'm learning this sort of content, because um, I think 
right now, again, being in, being in the industry like I am, I think this is a very important topic. Um, so kudos to the authors, kudos to Pact as well. I can imagine there's going to be a lot more AI-focused books coming out over the next six months. Um, it, you know, this this book was not created overnight. That's taken at least six months to six months to nine months, right, for the authors to create and to go through that whole Pact thing of, of you know, the, the editing and, and reviewing and all that sort of stuff. So kudos and i'll put a link to where you can buy this book on amazon i'll also put a link to uh the, the two um authors linkedin page um uh, you know again I, 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 in these reviews i never i'm never ever i don't care what anyone says i'm never going to say anything really negative or bad about a book just because i know how hard these are so although there are certain things like i said i would have liked to see some more imaging on some of the chapters and and some more sort of um tables and things like that it's just a, it's just my personal preference. That's just uh, you know uh, feedback. This is an amazing book. It's a great topic. I love the fact that Copal and Azure together, um, and I may have actually I might use this book to to create some video content myself and um, you know for my YouTube channel. So well done to them. Well done to Pact. Um, loads of useful links in the description. Look uh, again. I think I've mentioned I'm, I'm doing I'm going to be doing an Azure. I've not mentioned this yet, but I'm going to be doing an AZ140, so the AVD live coming up in a week or so. Probably not next week, but the week after. Um, but also I've got some useful links to, to my exam topics, which is for members only in my description as well. Got loads of other exam topics on there, including fundamentals, associate and uh, expert level. So thank you for joining me. Until next time, goodbye.